What is up guys? Welcome to the channel. It's me out of Monday. And dude, we got an awesome one. I got Mark here from Honda Street Garage. Kelly's at work, so I apologize she's not with us, but Mark and I are on a serious quest right now. Believe it or not, we're in Georgia, and we're out to get ourselves a new engine for the Mazda Miata. So after the first video, I got an email from a guy named TJ, who hit me up saying, hey man, I know you're looking for an engine for that new Miata that you got. And believe it or not, I have one, and you can have it for free. Oh, you can't beat that. You can't beat that price. So we got a $200 car, we got a free engine, can't get better than that. So Mark and I were headed to Georgia to pick it up. It is a four hour ride. We've actually been driving through a ton of rain, but we're almost there. All right guys, what is up? We made it to TJ's house. We're just hanging out with him for a little while, talking to him about all these cool things that he has. And we're walking over right now to take a look at this guy's sick, incredible display of awesome cars. Man, I wish my backyard looked like this guy's backyard. Check out what this guy has back here. Dude, he's got a lewd. He's got an unbelievable GTI. He's got a Miata. He's got some American car. He's got an old school kind of a Nissan pickup truck. Another amazing Miata. And dude, check it out. He's got a Nissan hard body. This guy freaking has it all. Oh, dude, it smells just like my car. Yeah, they have this distinct smell. They do. I all about it. And, uh, Holy cow. It, like a couple months ago. And I was like, man, this is like nostalgic just smelling this. It does. It has that, the, the, it's the lewd, it's like the a, lewd scent. Yeah. They have the it's like a special peppery whip. Yeah. Smell. I don't know how to, I mean, oh, I man. had a prelude. What's underneath, the, what's in the engine? Uh, just a factory B21. Um, Mark needs to see this. Mark Mark doesn't understand what, what mine looks like and how it came. No, I, I don't have the crossover have tube and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just when I got it running, I didn't feel this like that. This is super calm. That. These leaked like crazy. Mm -hmm. Mark, can you, you, you taking this in? This is my engine. You look exactly like this power mm -hmm. steering. Yeah. ABS. Look at this it's ABS everywhere. battery, yeah, vacuum ABS box. Like, all this stuff. Bad. Deleted, man. Deleted. Yeah, I, I never had a mouse problem until I moved into this place, but they chewed up so much of my wiring, and I'm oh, like, geez. can I get to go through and the, the, and hell, all that? the hell with the wiring. Uh, redo it all. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they have issues anyway, so I'm yeah. go ahead and redo it anyway. Dude, this thing's awesome. They do harnesses. This takes me back. Yeah, they do do harnesses. It takes you back. You own one of these. I know. It takes me back to what my engine bay used to look like. Uh, all right. TJ, you got to tell us about the GTI. I love these cars, okay. man. These are impossible to find. This thing's got to be worth... Ten grand. I had, I had a Jetta. <laughs> one million dollars. I had a Jetta a long time ago, and it was like one of the best cars I've ever owned. Right. And, uh, it I was an a, older one then. It was same body style, just the you know uh, four door. You know, like eighty seven or something. Uh, eighty nine. This is okay. Eighty. This is an eighty five. Okay. Which technically is uh, not right for. No, it's eighty four. Okay. Yeah, eighty four. But this is actually from Germany. This is like an actual German gray market car. How do you how do and, you know that? Uh, what 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 are the tell tell signs of that? The uh, the biggest signs are the bumpers are super small compared to. Oh American yeah, they bumpers. are. Yeah yeah. American bumpers are like that much thicker. And I bet they stick out more. Uh, yeah, they stick out more. Yeah. So these are sleeker. I guess they have like less safety concerns. They do. Um, yeah yeah. The dash. I wish I had the original dash because it was slimmer too. Right. Uh, but it was in such rough shape. I ended up leaving it. At right. a previous place that I lived and didn't realize I left it. Right. Uh, but I was going to repair it, so now I just have a crummy, like, American version dash in there. And then it's got some uh, oh, interior yes. things. Dude, it's I remember got the this, door uh, handles. Blue, white, and gray stripes. Yeah. Oh, man, that's, that's awesome. Different. It does have Corrado seats. The original seats were in really bad shape. And I have baking soda because mice just went in there and just ruined right, it. Right, right, right. terrible. Yeah. Oh, so sure. I'm trying to get the smell back out of it. But, dude, uh, everything's here. It just needs to be yeah. cleaned. And then I did, uh, I did ruin the purity because I ended up swapping a VR6 in it. Okay. And uh, this this car has kind of been like Jesus. The biggest, wow. The biggest failure that I've had. It <laughs> it would run like it took me so long to get it running. I finally got it running, and it has a bad misfire. And no matter yeah. what I test and figure out, I cannot figure out what that misfire. Is. Was this but car running before you did the swap? Uh, it was running, and in my uh, stupidity there's a fuel box it's like a sump pump kind of thing right uh, they're made of plastic that's fused together and it, it started it uh it was running kind of funny so i want to change the fuel filter yeah so when i did i put too much pressure and i 
split that box just enough to have a small leak. Right. And so I spent like a year trying to figure out how to fix that because you could not find that box anywhere. Right, right, and, sure. Uh, what I eventually ended up doing was saying, you know what, I'm just going to swap the whole engine. And so I swapped a running engine to a engine that I haven't got running. Taking on this Frankenstein appearance. Does it run? It, it did run. Okay. I took it to uh, me. I was at the Gap most recently. Oh, you did? Yeah. I've got How one, was that? I've was it insane? In a row. I like it. It's it's pretty fun. Uh, now, there are other better roads around. So yeah. You, you kind of go out and explore, but... If you've never been up that way, which I know you've been to the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, it's a cool event. How many Miatas show up at that? A lot? Uh, I, I can't quite remember. I want to say it was it was a few hundred, though. That's yeah. a lot. I was going to I was gonna guess a hundred, and it's, it's a, a few hundred. It's a yeah, it's, it's a big one, and, and it, it kind of slows down all the traffic. But, you know, it's it's still pretty cool. God, that, um, we're definitely going to wind up doing that. That, that is I, definitely going to happen. I've done just happen. a few kind of modifications. I have the individual coils. Yep. Um, I had modified the stock headers instead of getting actual headers because they're so expensive. So right, yeah, they are. Them. Um, and I have the, the radiator. That's about it. What do you think of this radiator? Let's talk about this in, um, in the video, actually. It's pretty. Right. As far as cooling differences, I don't have enough upgrades to make it make much of a difference. Let me ask you this. The cooling reroute. Do you know of it? I do. Is I've it worth doing? It. Um, do you have, ever, I, do you have any cooling issues in this car? Yes. You do? Yes. Uh, but this car also has bad compression on one cylinder. And okay. And it's been running that way for years. Right, right. And I think that's what kind of uh, causes the, the overheating issue because the radiator is new. Everything is new. Right. And it'll still do it if I drive a long way and then kind of sit. Right, right, um, right. But I, I'm convinced that it's it's not the engine. I, I don't like to blame these engines on their overheating things because, um, you know, if they're in good running order, I, most people don't have issues overheating. So yeah. I never had issues with mine. And so I, mean, I, I have beat on this one, and for the most part, I don't have any issues. Yeah. Except that I broke the time and don't. So. Okay. But they're not interfering. They're not interfering. Sure. That's another sure reason why. Fine. Do you hear that, Mark? Not interfering timing belts, Mark. Yeah. So I'm sure I can get a timing belt on and get it going. Uh, <laughs> what kind of coilovers do you have? Megan Racing. And do you like them? I do. Okay. I do. For for somebody like me who doesn't do any track at all, right? Just, you know, some aggressive driving on the street here and there. They're comfortable. They're stiffer than original. They're lower than original. If you were gonna track this, do you do you think you'd upgrade suspension to a different coilover? Do you think that's um, a weak point, or would you do more structural I, bracing? Personally, I would evaluate your own skill okay. before you decide. Yeah, you know, good like answer. With with my skill level, I'd probably be fine. Right. Um, but as you know, as you get better, you're probably gonna want something better. So. Yeah. Yeah. But to the friend with the other me out. This this thing looks immaculate. Yeah, this car I got for a hundred dollars. Oh and my it was, god! It was sitting in a barn. It was from New Jersey, so it has a little bit of rust. rust. Oh yeah. To, to hide a little bit, but but here, you know, it's yep. got a oh, bit. Yeah. Yeah. The other side's the same way. Dude, a hundred dollars? Yeah, it was a hundred dollars. Golly. Uh, and I I spent somewhere in the neighborhood of seventeen or eighteen hundred. I replaced almost everything underneath it. It's what got, suspension do you have on this this has the cheapest coilovers you can buy on ebay <laughs> they're, they're crap i would never buy them again but i didn't want to replace all the factories right the rest of the tan interior i love that interior oh uh, yeah I, it was disgusting too uh eventually i'll put a video out of me cleaning it because it was is amazing the difference of what it came like yeah there are gonna be a lot of cleaning videos coming up on my channel <laughs> I was gonna sell this car and I've kind of changed my mind and I'm gonna go back to my original plan of, of just kind of fixing all the small flaws and just keeping it nice. Is this stock exhaust? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Everything except for the coilovers is stock on this. Is this the OEM paint? It is. Wow, it looks really good. I mean, this is, was this a 94? This is a 96. 96. So that one's 96. That okay. One's 96. Man. I mean, just that's old paint, and it looks good. Yeah, and it was it was pretty pretty bad uh, when I got it. So I'm not the best at paint repair, but I you know I kind of right. brought it back a bit. Better than me, that's for sure. <laughs> well, but awesome. I did have to replace one fender because it was all smashed in mm -hmm. the rear bumper and that piece that you were asking about. <laughs> yes, the uh, tail garnish or trim garnish I, or. I've always heard it called a rear finish panel yes i had to put that on there okay um, so okay. i got that from another one yeah did but you yeah. change the top or that's the top that you got 
that is a different topic. It didn't it didn't well the topic came with I think was like just destroyed. Right. But I've I've gone through a bunch of tops. They break so easily. And um, so you've installed them before? Yeah. And are they that hard to do? Uh it's time consuming, but it's oh. not it's not terrible. Right. Sick dude. Going no problem. Mm -hmm. Um this this truck, this was our first truck that we ever had. Uh -huh. We paid seven hundred dollars for this. It's kind of a trend. I'm, I'm cheap. I'm yeah. Uh, really hey, cheap welcome cars. to the club, man. Um, so, uh, paid seven hundred for it. It was like convict orange. Right. And so day oh, I remember one, that We thing. spray painted it black. Yeah. And, uh, color. I always wanted. Well, this was like an, an aftermarket convict oh, orange. Oh, okay. If it was that pretty factory orange, I probably would have kept it. Um, but yeah, we spray painted it black, and then this actually was the first car that I professionally painted. But okay. It took me so long, and I made a bunch of mistakes, and so afterwards I just kind of gave up on it and let it just go to shit. Right, right, right. So I, I actually plan sometime soon to start get it, bringing this back and making it nice again. Yeah, get a little roll pan for the back. Yeah, that, you know? that piece was rusted out, so I need oh, yeah. to I need to repair that and uh, you know do that up. But I still. You know, there's there's a good bit. Left. This is the original engine in here. Yeah, original engine. It's got carbureted. Like Two hundred and forty-five thousand miles. And it says um, the start. It is carbureted. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. This thing's these cars just don't break, man. Yeah. This People thing, don't know. This has been like People the most know. the most reliable vehicle I've had. It's exactly. Even, even when the I've had the alternator go out three times, and all three times it still got me where I need to go. <laughs> right. So, like I, I've never been on the side of the road because of a right. problem like that. The only time is when a radiator hose busted. Oh, this thing's awesome. But it has a it has a valve cover off of like a 1980 Nissan car. Uh huh. Because they bolt in exactly the same, but it's like this cool aluminum instead of the uh, stamped steel. Yes. Yeah. 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 And then the Weber carburetor, because the original ones are just hard to really mess with Man, for this, me anyway. This thing is so you just cool. Need a pressure wash and some brake cleaner. We'll yeah. I mean, I, seriously, I mean, yeah, that's so all I, you need. I wanted to clean it up, and uh, I didn't pull the engine when I painted it. Right. Uh, because it's just so reliable. I didn't want to mess, mess with, with it. Mess with it. I don't, I don't blame it. And uh, so that's the plan is like, I'm not going to mess with it until it breaks down. Like, right. And then right. I'll pull it and do it. Or, or I'll do it slowly over time, but I'm not too sure about that. Yeah. But. Awesome, man. Well, thank you so much for giving us the rundown of these amazing cars. Can we go inside the garage and take a look at the uh, Miata parts? All right, guys. Check out TJ's layout here of Miata parts. I mean, this guy could put together a car right in here we just needs a needs a body and a uh and a frame wow. it's got everything you can even put a uh put a v-twin motorcycle engine in it man god he's got everything so this again tell me what you what you just told me a little earlier this is this was for the the possible go-kart or what'd you call it um i was gonna make a death cart Miata. death cart yes um, and it's, upset. it's just kind of it's just the least project on the whole list of projects and right so kind of scrapping that for now so scrapping that for now and he's allowing us to take this 1.8 liter engine off his hands i mean check this thing out it came out of a working miata and man this is going to be sick unbelievable it's a little heavier than i thought it was going to be i tried to move it earlier but it's all right we'll get it in the xv i watch a whole lot of people I watch both of your channels. Oh wow, um, that's I watch. That's uh, interesting. <laughs> Mighty Car Mods. Oh, that's my favorite. Oh, that's one of Mark's favorite, right? Yeah, that's is, that the, is that the channel I got you going? Yep. Mighty Car Mods. Yeah, that sure kind of kind of inspiration for me wanting to do it. Too. Yeah, um, I never even knew about that channel until so you told me about. If it. If anybody's wondering why the camera's moving it's around so much, it's because I'm or getting the, the chewed up, bro. And I, I like uh, <laughs> channel called Cars and Cameras and Grind Hard Plumbing Company. They do the all the small engine stuff. I don't know oh, you should be good. You should be good now to move around. Yeah, and, uh, it goes downhill right after this. <laughs> no, I get. Like literally, literally downhill. Oh shit! Shit! shit. Mm -hmm. Mm, that's the sound of what you want right there. That's okay. That's okay. That sounded awful. Yeah, it'll be all right. Saving him a lot of money so that he can just fix whatever he just broke. <laughs> Dude, that wasn't bad at all. No. Sure, no. sure, it wasn't bad. I thought it would be worse, I'll get honest. <laughs> all right. TJ and I, we got her in, man. She's tied down. And look at this bucket of goodness that he's allowing us to take away, too, man. I think we got everything we need to get this thing going. 
All we need now is a transmission, and she should be rolling. All right, guys, we're just about to wrap up here with TJ, but before we go, TJ does have a YouTube channel. Dude, tell us all about it. It's a dead pedal garage with no spaces, and uh, I just started recently, so there's not a whole lot going on, but I do uh, car projects and go-karts and custom drift trikes, stuff like that. And you guys saw what he's got in the back, man, so awesome stuff coming. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on Dead Pedal Garage. I'll have a link to it in the description, and I uh, can't thank this guy enough for uh, everything we got here. So Mark and I are going to close her up and head the four hours back down south, and uh, wait till my wife sees what we got her. She's going to absolutely love it. All right, guys, so it's actually a couple days later, and uh, believe it or not, after driving 10 hours, I didn't feel like messing with the engine and pulling it out of the car. So, uh, yeah, man, it's still in here, and I actually uh, drove to work <laughs> with it in here yesterday, um, again, because we didn't have it out, and uh, it actually came loose like two turns before I got home. But uh, Kelly and I cinched it back up in here, and uh, we're about to pull this out. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Let's do it. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, you may be saying to yourself, hey, why don't you just get a cherry picker like you got over there and pull the thing out. Well, you know, it's a great idea, but unfortunately, man, we're not going to we're not gonna have the room. There's, uh, even if we tighten this chain up, if we mess with the cherry picker, it's still not going to be enough room. The answer is always just grab it and just move it. So <laughs> that's what we're about to attempt. <laughs> you got it all day, girl. Ready? One, two... Good. Let's put it down. <laughs> you okay? Right. We did good. <laughs> we got it out, man. <laughs> we didn't even mess the car up or nothing. I think I broke my foot. You broke your foot? <laughs> <laughs> it's good man the cart thing didn't work out but that's all right let's go ahead and get the lift we'll lift this thing up now now we got a real good look at it and you know kelly and i gently placed it on the ground but i don't see any damage done to that it's a mazda 1.8 you can throw this thing off a cliff and still start right up so yeah guys that's what tj got us Get a real good look at it now so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and get it off this engines this uh engine lift i'm gonna go ahead and get it on the engine stand um but before we get it on the engine stand we got to get rid of the engine that's on the stand this is the original b21 a1 that came out of my prelude the one that's in it right now i actually bought off ebay had it shipped to me and had it rebuilt over at CW Pence. But the plan for this guy is a low compression sleeve job so that we can go turbo in the future on the Prelude. So we're gonna go ahead and send this block over there, have them do their magic, take it all apart, make sure that the block is actually good and uh, no cracks or anything like that. And then once we get the okay on that, then we will go ahead and uh, start the process of sleeving it and building a just sick bottom end so they can withstand uh, a little bit extra extra air um, but I have robbed some stuff off this in the past uh, that's currently on my car it doesn't have an oil pan as you guys can see and it does not have an oil pump um, which is currently on the car so um, I gotta use the engines the engine lift to get this guy off the stand and then I'm gonna put that guy on the stand put this guy in a container and then put this in the XB and then get it over to the engine builders. So it's going to be musical engines here for a little bit. Let me get to work and get this stuff moved around. Alright guys, on the road to CW Pence to drop off the B21 block. I got it in the car. It wasn't pretty man, moving those engines around. Not the smoothest thing in the world, but made it happen. Didn't break anything, didn't kill myself. Um, I did not get the Miata engine mounted on the engine stand because I need long bolts that are the correct pitch. So I looked online and uh, found out what the numbers are. I can't remember what they are right now, but I'll, I'll put them down there in case you need to do it yourself. 
but we're gonna pick up some bolts, we're gonna drop this engine off, we'll stop over to see Randy over at Surat Performance Garage, and we'll stop in to see Junior and uh, see what he's up to. He's got like six transmissions, so maybe he can hook us up with one uh, at a price that's reasonable. We made it to the engine builder. And here's the B21. Let's go inside and see if someone could come out and give us a hand with this thing. All right guys, just got back from running errands and unfortunately the bolts that we bought were too short. I saw somebody posted online that we needed 70 millimeter in length and uh, they're about an inch too short. So these guys are gonna go back tomorrow. We'll get the right bolts. So until then, it's gonna stay on the hoist. But before we close this video out, I wanna give you guys a full lowdown of everything we got from TJ over there in Georgia. Check it out, man. I mean, this is just an unbelievable, unbelievable grab here. We got, uh, we got our engine mounts, which of course, these things are blown out, but we got good covers. We got a radiator fan, air conditioning fan, two headlight lids. That is a driver's mirror, I think. Driver's passenger, I mean it's passenger, oh, it doesn't matter. We got an ECU for the 95. The entire wiring harness <laughs> from the dash back, man. I mean, just insane, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, Kelly, Kelly's in charge of installing that. <laughs> this isn't 100% necessary to replace, but ours is a little bit cut up, so we are gonna be replacing it. Uh, we got a ton of spark plug wires, plus an igniter. We got ourselves a throttle body, and two of these uh, crank position sensors. This one is un not broken, this one is a little broken. I don't know what this is. Let me know what it is. Uh, we'll figure it out, obviously, but we got it. And then we got the air box, but more importantly, it comes with the MAF. So we got that guy, and we got two of these. Uh, to me, they look like they're for airbags. Uh, I don't know what they're for, other than that. Two of these, <laughs> which to me looks like a fast idle valve. Uh, not exactly sure. Comment below. Let me know what this is. <laughs> Uh, and uh, what else, what else, what else, what else? Oh, we got this, uh, got this bracket. I forget what this is called, but it's necessary. I think it goes between the engine and the transmission. So we got that thing. Actually got the, uh, the proper hooks for pulling an engine. Um, that thing, not sure what that is. Not sure what that is. That looks to me like a fuel pressure regulator right there. And we got one of those. And yeah, man, I think that's it. Just an incredible, incredible gesture by TJ. Thank to, you, TJ. Yes, to hook us up with this just incredible, if I don't even know what you call it. It's a gift. Yeah, it's a gift. It's an incredible gift. All right, guys, so before we go, we got to check off the engine off of our little whiteboard here. And how much did we pay for that engine? It was free. It was free, man. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you can't build a car cheaper than free. Beautiful. So we're going to wrap it up here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. What a video, huh? We had XB, we had Miata stuff, we had Prelude stuff. I mean, you name it, we had it in this video. Um, make sure you like and subscribe if you're into the Miata content because, as you guys know, there's so much coming. The next video possibly is going to be about getting a transmission, possibly going to be a junkyard run, possibly going to be... <laughs> Kelly wrenching on her I'm new getting engine. Getting dirty. <laughs> yeah, so uh, look forward to that. That's going to be next Monday. But um, I just want to do another shout out to TJ, Dead Pedal Garage. Thank you so much, TJ. And Mark from Honda Street Garage. And Mark, too. Yes, big help. Kept me awake for that long, long drive. <laughs> but anyway, thanks so much, guys. And uh, TJ, when we get this thing up and running, you're the first person we're coming to see. So.